Hey everyone, welcome back to Joystick News, your go-to channel for the latest and greatest in gaming news. Today, we're diving into the exciting new Love Struck update for The Sims 4 and what it could mean for the future of the franchise, especially with the highly anticipated Project Rene. So, grab your popcorn and let's get into it. First off, if you haven't heard yet, The Sims 4 has just rolled out its brand new Lovestruck expansion and let me tell you, it's all about romance. This update introduces a whole new city called Ciudad Inamorada, where love is literally in the air. Not only can your sims explore this beautiful city, but they can also dive into polyamorous relationships and even use a new in-game dating app called Cupid's Corner. Now, let's talk about Cupid's Corner. Think of it as the Sims version of Tinder or Hinge. This app lets your Sims swipe left or right to find their perfect match or even get catfished. What's super cool about Cupid's Corner is that it pulls Sims directly from the gallery. For those not in the know, the gallery is where players share their Sims creations and this feature adds a whole new layer of immersion to the game. But here's where it gets really interesting. Cupid's Corner might just be a sneak peek into what we can expect from Project Rene, the next big thing in The Sims franchise. Project Rene has been confirmed to include multiplayer features, a first for the series. Imagine this. What if Project Rene uses a similar system to match real players and their Sims? This could take social interaction in the game to a whole new level. So, why is this significant? The Sims has always been about creating your own unique in-game life and adding multiplayer elements could revolutionize the franchise. Multiplayer would mean more community interaction, more shared experiences, and maybe even real-time dating features similar to Cupid's Corner, but on a grander scale. It seems like the developers are using The Sims 4 to test out these new concepts. By introducing features like Cupid's Corner in The Sims 4, they can get valuable feedback and tweak these ideas before fully implementing them in Project Rene. This strategic move ensures that by the time Project Rene rolls out, it will be polished and ready to deliver a seamless multiplayer experience. For all you Sims fans out there, this means exciting times ahead. Whether you're into building your dream home, creating your perfect sim, or diving into the social aspects of the game, Project Rene is poised to offer something truly groundbreaking. And for those who love the romance aspect, the possibility of multiplayer dating apps could make your sims love lives even more dynamic and unpredictable. In conclusion, the Lovestruck update for The Sims 4 is more than just an expansion. It's a glimpse into the future of The Sims franchise. With Project Rene on the horizon, the integration of features like Cupid's Corner hints at a more connected and interactive gaming experience. So keep your eyes peeled for more updates and get ready for a whole new way to play The Sims. That's it for today's video. If you enjoyed this deep dive, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you never miss out on our latest content. Let me know in the comments what you think about the Lovestruck update and what you're hoping to see in Project Rene. Until next time, happy simming!